it is uh, Monday morning and we were in a pickup truck and we thought that we were heading to the store, but the truck had a different idea. The clutch went out, lost all the, what is it, Harold? Hydraulic fluid or whatever. He knows stuff I don't. Uh, all I know is it doesn't go. And so we're in the car here with Chrissy and Lori and Harold and Robertson. He's our construction guru and driver today. So, um, yeah, so I, and I'm going to flip the camera and show you where we are on the street. We're just waiting. We don't know what's going to happen next. All right. <laughs> where we're stranded uh, somewhere in Port au Prince on a street somewhere. And uh, this is it. Go out the back. One of the things we're hoping is that nobody just walks by and takes the tools, which could happen, which is okay. They came and rescued right. us at the truck, and now we're at the MSC, which is like the Home Depot here in Haiti, and we got uh, all the paint, and it was a little sketchy trying to find the right color colors for it, but uh, we're looking good. We're going to go buy the paint. We're gonna go try to fix the truck, and hopefully we'll get to Williamson. Back All right. to the pickup truck, which is right over there, and it is broken and has not been repaired. So we're trying to figure out if we're gonna go back to the guest house or uh, what we're gonna do. So what's the expression? Déjeuner. Dégager. Dégager, which means we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, dégagé. Hey, we're back on the road! Woo so after a couple of hours of just sitting on the road, uh, waiting, uh, they got it fixed, and that's awesome. So here in Haiti, if your truck breaks down, you just stop and fix it. That's how it works. And then, but so cool thing, I got to draw a sketch. This lighting's really bad. Whoa, sorry, people. Here we go. Um, Got to do a little sketch. Awesome. Okay. So we're back in the road. We've come to, we're about ready to turn into the road that takes us up to Williamson. So this is the road. If you didn't know that this is the road, you would blow right past this because you doesn't Main say street. road or anything. People are just hanging out. So this is the entryway. Whoa, that was close. Okay, so here's the main road in Twink. There's the main gate to the school. School's in session. Is the school. We're in Williamson. And uh, give you a little tour. This is the church. And that isn't, it's been completed, but it isn't quite open yet. Um, and that is the school itself. And then you can see uh, in this area is a school room, and that's where the church meets right now. Um, but I'm going to be doing the mural on that wall right there. So one thing I want to show you is uh, Joel Leger uh, set up this GoPro. It's really cool because it's solar powered and uh, it's going to be doing a time lapse of the mural. So here's what I'm thinking. Uh, when we first got to the wall, I didn't remember that these louvered walls or these holes in the wall uh, were here when I planned out the mural. So I had to completely remap the mural. So uh, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna start, uh, use my graphite sticks and I'm gonna sketch out the mural. And my plan is, I'm gonna try to draw the mural kind of like a coloring book so that other people and hopefully the, the kids, uh, the school students can um, come in and, and color it in for me. Then I'll go back and I'll do line work over it, and if I have time, I'll do some shading. Uh, we're gonna take one step at a time. So my goal for today is to try to get some line art mapped out, but because of our truck experience, 
I don't know if I have enough time to finish that, but we'll see what happens. All right, so let the mural begin. Oh, and this is Emma, who is our, say hi, Emma. Hi. So this, Emma is in charge of that GoPro that I just showed you. Uh, she did a fantastic job, figured out how to get the solar panels set up, and I think we chose, what, 30 second intervals? So it should give us like two minutes of, almost two minutes of time lapse. Say hello. Hello. Okay. And he helped me figure out some things, but we got the uh, got the pencil part of the mural done today, even in a short amount of time. So tomorrow we're going to start painting. So I'm going to go over here and show. Um, we got this section. I don't know if you can even see that on the video, but um, we got the you guys. Say hello. Say hello. It's a video. Okay. They don't want to say hello. So we have, uh, let's see if we can get in close here. It's hard to see. But we've got, uh, oh, there it is. We've got the cross and the vine going. And I've got the branches uh, are going to be framing each of the pictures. And yeah, so there you go. Let's get a quick uh, panoramic of the schoolyard. Pretty awesome. Classes and section over there. All right, so day one is a wrap. And so what I'm praying for today is that it doesn't rain tonight. Because uh, one of our interpreters, Reggie, he thought, he said, so what happens if it rains and all of this graphite washes off the wall? Let's hope that doesn't happen. Okay. It is uh, Tuesday. This is... Uh, my friend Reggie. Reggie, yes. And uh, what's your, Reggie's your nickname. What's your real name? My real name is Reginald Joseph. Reginald Joseph. And so Reggie is uh, working as a translator for us this week. And yesterday, right as we were about to leave, he asked me, So, what happens if it rains overnight? I'm like, Oh, great. Now I got to worry about that all night. So I'm happy to announce that as we walked into the uh, yard this morning, it did not rain. And the mural is still there, the pencil lines, and so we're going to get to start painting. So uh, I'll check in at the end of the day and let you know how it went. All right. A lot done. Check this out. Uh, come over here. We got, uh, got most of the leaves and the branches done. We've got all these handprints going, which is pretty cool. And we got a lot of the got a lot of it done. One of the things that I decided the paint the paint was not working very well, so what I decided to do was just go in and do black line, cartoon line. We may or may not get to uh, color them in. Um, trying to make Jesus' location. I don't know if I accomplished that, but and uh, show you one more section. Guys, say hello. And uh, we've got the nativity scene and the baptism. So, all right. So I think it was a good. Good second day. Good morning, good morning. So we're going to come over uh, and look at the mural. Uh, there it is. So we got, uh, we had a problem with the paint yesterday. And as soon as I started painting, you can see that it's really, really thin. And uh, I thought, oh no, what are we going to do? Because it's not going to paint very well. So I had to adapt a little bit. And uh, I finally got the black to work, so I'm using it like, um, it's basically doing cartoon line uh, pictures. Uh, like, and, and I hope that today we can figure out how to color them in. But honestly, 
think I'm not really loving it right now. Um, I hope we can make it look good today. But uh, here's some of my painting crew. We got Rhiannon and Aria here who did a lot of the painting. And uh, hopefully today we can uh, make it look good, right? You guys ready for this? Yeah. All right. Another great crew helping. So there it is. afternoon and we are done so this is uh, Reggie we met him earlier he was one of our translators this is Recordings and he has been helping us all week and uh, so these guys really helped us finish it off and so they're gonna be part of the final video so let's uh, uh, so one of the coolest things about finishing this video was we got to I got to walk through the whole story with a whole bunch of people standing around and that was very cool for me anyway so, um, here it is. Let's just walk real quick through it. So we've got, I didn't get to finish everything, but I think it's... Uh, Reggie gonna, Reggie, I'm gonna finish it. Yeah, so this is my official baton pass, right? Yes. So, Fikorlims, uh, okay, so this is the official moment. I am now done, and I'm handing it over to these guys. They have the paints and the brushes, and they're going to finish it up for me. So I'm going to trust that you're going to do a great job. I have nothing to worry. I have a little experience in all that. All right. So very cool. Okay. He's, oh, he's going to show, show you guys you his experience his in all art. Awesome. And uh, let's just take a quick walk down. And uh, so we got Jesus healing. And uh, there we go. And then the final piece right here, you've got Compassion Week, and this this picture right here, one of the, another one of the coolest moments for my whole week was when we were trying to figure out what to put in this section right here. That is Wayom Bonze. Wayom Bonze. Yeah, that. What he said. Kingdom of God. Yeah, it's the Kingdom of God, and I got I got to have the coolest theology geek moment of my life, I think. Because we got out Creole Bibles and French Bibles and English and Greek Bibles. We were trying to figure out how to translate uh, Mark 1.15. And we got into this deep theological conversation through translation. But anyway, we came up with this. Uh, Wayom don't say it again. Wayom DJ. Wayom DJ. Exact way of translating the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God. And so we're all part of the kingdom of God through Jesus Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit. And we're all brothers and sisters, and that's what this mural is all about. So, amen. Amen. Peace out. <laughs>